Join the Central Coast Social Network. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. KZUZ. All right, Jeff and Jeremy here. Oh, man. It is time to do the picks. The three closest games of the week. Oh, my God. Just looking at Jeff at 15 and 9 out front makes my stomach hurt. Give me a second. Yeah, I got to so, go get some Pepto. So, so, I'm but, a little you know, nauseous. Patrick, Patrick's only one game behind me. One game behind me. Yeah, but a, uh, but he doesn't run his mouth like you do. Uh, it's, not a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. <laughs> Leslie, who beat us all last year, is just waiting to make her move. She's at 13 and 11. Patrick, 14 and 10. Jeff, 15 and 9. And I have no chance, but you can help me by sending in the winners of these three games. If you get two out of three right, you win $50 to go to the poorhouse and $50 off your service from Be Right There Heating and Air. Call the B.com. I'm 8 and 16. Jeff, what is the order today? Today, um, everybody went two and one except for me. I went one and two last week. I um, took Cincinnati and Chicago. Uh, Leslie texted me right after the Hail Mary and said, what the hell kind of crap is that? That was hilarious. Um, right. Unfortunately, Caleb Leslie's- Williams' face after that happened, after he just went down the field and scored. Oh my God! I want to put that on a T-shirt. Patrick, Patrick, you're gonna hate. You're gonna hate that I said this, but I saw the funniest meme. It was Keenan Allen's face after it happened, and he was just he was, yeah. He was just smiling, and and it said, Keenan Allen, like, yeah, I played for the Chargers. I'm used to this kind of stuff happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's numb. He's numb to shenanigans. So the order last week was numb Leslie first. So I'm guessing it's going to go Leslie, Patrick, and then you, Jeff. Yes. Yes. Because okay. I got one and two. Yeah. Here we go, kid. Uh, Houston, out to New York tonight. It's Thursday night football. I don't know how, but somehow Patrick, the Jets are Patrick's favored. First. Patrick's first, Jeremy. You said it was the same. Oh, I thought it was. they were no, the same as last week. Patrick, Leslie. I just said, does Leslie go first? And you Jeremy. said yes. Yeah, I know, but I, w- I wasn't listening, and I thought you, you, I, you were listening. He's on cold medicine, remember? Yes, and it's it really annoying. Do you, don't I mean, you send people you home from the bar when they're sick? Since, everybody, since everybody's yes. two and one. Um, last week, you're going to go in the order that you're a total record in. So Patrick is one game okay. ahead of we, Leslie. This is already a really long segment. Can we just get to so it? So Patrick is at 14 and 10. God Leslie's sucks. at 13 and 11. Patrick, Houston traveling out to play the Jets tonight. Somehow the Jets are favored at one and a half. What do you got? Yeah, somehow, right? Like I have some friends that may or may not gamble a little bit, and this is what they call a trap bet and a trap game with a point spread. Despite all of that, I am still taking Houston because I just can't stand the Jets, and they are terrible. All right, Leslie? Yeah, I don't understand how a team of 6-2 and two is the underdog in this, you know, a team that's 2-6. and six. It just doesn't make sense. But um, <clears throat> I do think that it's, it's going to be a lot of – yeah, it's, it's, it's odd. Um, <clears throat> CJ Stroud, he doesn't have any stuff on digs this week, so it's going to be a little bit different game for them. Um, but he's got Joe Mixon back there, who's got four, I think four out of his last five games have been 100 yards plus. So I like the Texans. I think that Joe Mixon's going to have a big, another big game. Um, I think it's going to be a low-scoring game if the defense is battling it out, but I'm yeah. definitely going Houston. Vegas says it's going to be a low-scoring game, too. They have a uh, 42 over under, um, meaning they think defense will be on display here uh, the Jets are are in desperate need to um, show a little success this is their one opportunity to do so with a banged up Houston team going into this game um, you know you've got two receiving options um, for CJ Stroud last year these two teams played in a rainstorm and the Jets defense got after the Houston Texans offense with healthy role players, um, but no Joe Mixon last year. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go with the Jets on this one. I, 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 I'm i going to side with Vegas and um, get back in the win column, and um, I think the Jets need to get back in the win column, and they will do so tonight. All right. Up next, Chicago traveling out to Arizona to take on the Cardinal. Uh, uh, home favorite at one point. Over-unders at 44 and a half here. Patrick, what do you got? I'm definitely going to go with Arizona. 
I like Kyler Murray. I think he's going to get it done. Leslie? Oh, this one's like, I think this is the toughest one of the week. Um, oh, gosh, I don't know either. I think I'm going to have to go with the Cardinals just because I, I don't really know these uh, teams that well, so I don't have a lot of knowledge behind them. So I'm going to go with my boy Tate. Rest in peace. He was a Cardinals fan. So I'm going to go with Cardinals for my for Tate. Oh, man. Now if I pick Chicago, I feel bad for your buddy Tate. Um, <laughs> He's, it's fine. Um, this is a tough one this week. I It is. Like the... I, so we have we have a Bears fan in in the office, and he listens to um, streams of uh, sports radio from Chicago, and it is like calling for the heads of everyone on that staff right now in Chicago. These guys are playing for their jobs, and I'm not talking about the players. The players should be fine. It's their coaches. The coaches got to get control. Of the room, all because of a hail mary. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that's how fragile. Well, poorly Indiana. executed. I mean, that one guy was just running down. I forget. I got to get his name. Yeah. The guy that was just talking smack to the crowd, not even paying attention that yeah, the ball had been hiked. Yeah. Oh, that was great. He's back there dancing. Yeah, like talk. Oh, what an idiot! Defense, defense is going to be. Maybe um, he would have been over there. He could have knocked the ball out of the uh, commander's hands. Whoever that I was. Defense, defense is going to be on their toes, and Arizona. Is their recent success is is kind of a sugar high? Um, it's you know I mean they've won a couple games with last minute field goals and gotten into good position. I don't think it happens for a third straight week, so I'm going to take the Chicago Bears. All right, and uh, look at you going opposite. Final matchup: Rams Seattle. This one's in Seattle. I want to say the Rams usually have the Seahawks number, but after the last couple of weeks, will Geno Smith? Come out and show us something different. Will DK Metcalf be back? At this point in time, I believe he will, know. but we haven't heard we for know. sure. You just don't know. Uh, Seattle is uh, is at home, and the Rams are a one-and-a-half-point road favorite, Patrick. Yeah, so I have a question for you guys. Is is Geno Smith your your guy? Is he, like, the guy that's going to lead you to the Super Bowl? No. Be honest. No. I don't think so. No. I mean, like, like, they want to go to the Super Bowl. Bowl. They better get Russell Wilson back. <laughs> I mean, Gino's a backup. He's always been a backup. He has good games, but not a bad fantasy quarterback, but he's not great. He's not the guy that is yeah. going to take the team to victory. No, he's not that kind of leader. Right. Yeah, and I agree with that statement. Hence, I'm taking the Rams on the road. Uh, division rivalry game going to be a fun game, but the Rams are healthy, playing well, and I'm a fan of the Rams and Stafford. What do you think, Leslie? Yeah, you know, two weeks ago, if they were playing, I would have easily picked yeah. the Seahawks um, over this, over the Rams. But I think the Rams have got some new life in them, and they, you know, Stafford's coming off his best game of the season last week. Plus, he gets Cup and Nakua. Uh, Nico- I can't say his word. Nakua? Nakua. Yes. Nakua is because you're trying to say Nakua. It's because you're trying to yeah. say it like your husband would say it. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're cool. both How does that sound, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I need a recording of Jake saying uh, Puka Nakua. Yes, I just want to see <laughs> I'll how. Get, I'll get it for you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I like the Rams in this one. Um, d- yeah, I'm going Rams. Mm-hmm. I mean, Puka Nakua and Cooper Cup are forces to be reckoned with. And the Seahawks defense is not gotten it together. Hire a defensive-minded coach and to take the reins. And it's a, I guess he has a very complex defensive system from what I've heard from Ravens fans. Uh, it took them to, a while to catch on. I think this will be the week that they catch on. I think they're going to surprise the Rams. Oh, come on. Give me the, give me the Seahawks. See, here's the thing, and um, that's going to wrap up our picks, but the thing is, the defense isn't going to pick. It, it, they're not good. No. Uh, listen, the defense already struggles enough when you don't have a Puka Nukua in a, in a cup. Puka, Puka Nukua in a cup. <laughs> Anyway, sorry. I can remember um, last year. <laughs> remember last year, the Ra- the Rams were supposed to be really bad, and they played in Week One, and yes. the Rams punched the Seahawks in the mouth yes. in Seattle. Yes. yes, I think, I think that it, it, you know, it's a it's a it's a game of ebb and flows, and I think I see, think it's Seattle a get right game for the Hawks, maybe. But yeah, here's the problem: two. they lost their two defense the is already struggling. Now you got Nakua, you got Cup to deal with. Um, 
And you got an offense that just can't seem to get it together. And, and if Gino and, and gets, uh, DK Metcalf gets DK big, Metcalf I hate- back, I mean, yeah, yeah. that's going to help, but I don't know if it's enough. He's had big games against the Rams, and if he's not playing, I, I'd i like to reserve my right to change the picks, but the rules of the game I are think you're a homer, the and so there's I'm nothing wrong hoping, with that. I'm hoping for DK. But you're uh, going Seattle for sure. Okay. A little decoy, decoy Metcalf this weekend. <laughs> All right, so they're, they're, they're giving they're, us a good chance to catch up, so that's that's good. Yeah, no, you guys can get back in the thick of it now. All right, so if you're listening right now, you just have to text in the winner of those three matchups. Here they are again. Houston traveling out to New York tonight to take on the Jets. The Jets a one-and-a-half-point favorite. Chicago out to Arizona. Arizona a one-point favorite. And the Los Angeles Rams a road favorite at one-and-a-half traveling into Seattle to take on the Seahawks. Send us the winner of those three games. If you get two out of three correct and you are picked by me randomly... You will win that $50 gift card to go to the poorhouse and off your service from Be Right There Heating and Air. Call the B.com. Call the B.com, PastorRobblesBeer.com for everything going on with these two great businesses. We appreciate you guys' sponsorship. Yeah, thanks, guys. Great. Good luck this Thank weekend. You guys. Good luck this weekend. All right, see you later. And if you didn't take anything away from this Happy show, Halloween. is that uh, Leslie Sweet. woke up this morning and her house did not smell like dead people. Yeah, even on Halloween, that's good. That's a good That's a good sign. Uh, it's Jeff and Jeremy here. You can play the Red Zone Challenge, and you could win weekly as well as $1,000 in cash. we got a 50-inch flat-screen TV and soundbar from our friends at Coast Electronics. Just go over to KZOC.com and click on the Red Zone Challenge. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.